We're leaving tomorrow morning and we are anchoring at Mossel Bay and next morning we leave which it makes it only one night on the water. So this is what we've been staring at the last couple of weeks. I think we've actually been like on standby for three weeks. So I'll just play it out. Um, Tuesday. I'm not going to go into the detail but it gives you an idea. So we check that, we check swell, we check gusts um, and on the weekend there's okay window but the gusts were over 30 and I don't think that oh, would have been 40. over 40 like us mm. so we'll go park off in in Mossel Bay and then leave from there so we should actually have a look at that so that's Tuesday arrive in Mossel Bay sleep on anchor right there we actually went to Mossel Bay yesterday we had a rental so we had a look at the bay and then leave the next morning, so that's Wednesday morning, leave, take this wind um, and we'll just be behind that and then arrive in Cape Town. Okay, so it is happening, we got pizza, we had pizza and we usually get pizza, so Cafe Mario, so there we go, get their number, get pizza from them. We had it on our first evening here. And our last Italian pizza, and that begs the question: Why do Italian men often have a mustache or beard to look like a mom? Anyway, so we <laughs> we may not leave, or we will leave, depending on the smell, yeah, and the wind. <clears throat> but now we're leaving, but not on a jet plane. So we're packing up the last little bit. You will still see that as pieces of art. <laughs> and I want to put some music on my phone tomorrow. And because... <laughs> There's a music. Because... What was I talking about? You were talking about artwork and things. Oh, no. So what happened was... We've been ready for the last three weeks, but not like really, 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 but we were ready. This weekend, it wasn't ideal. And the mo this morning, Christo got up and he's like, we're leaving tomorrow. So, I'm not like totally prepared for my entertainment uh, on the way. I like to listen to podcasts. So, I just wrapped up work and put out of office on, let all my clients know that I'll be back on email in a couple of days. But I still need to put some stuff on, maybe on my iPad, that I can listen to, and maybe some movies, and then I'm ready to then pack away a lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 Hi, Flos. Okay, I'm supposed to work later. Leaving that morning, obviously so many emotions and memories passed through our heads. But, speaking of heads, we were uh, a little bit apprehensive. It became quite misty as we got closer to the heads. And we, um, you know, we just had to, to try it outing and checking for breaking waves. Oh, baby. Going through our footage, I realized exactly how slow it feels when you go through and you really can't turn around, you've just got to stick through it and slowly, bam, 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 just get through the heads. Is 
like, woohoo! We stole not through you. So the one's plan was to get ourselves into Muscle Bay and into the bay for an evening's rest. Um, it was pretty uneventful, quite misty, some motor sailing, some sailing, some motoring on day one. And then we got ourselves into a very, very rolly anchorage in Muscle Bay, but that was the plan and we knew it's going to be like that. We left early morning, day two, pulled up the anchor and headed to Cape Town. Um, we should actually do a whole episode on me and my seasickness. I haven't really spoken about it, but it's a, quite a big deal. I'm very excited to say that on this sail, I actually came over or got over my seasickness, which is like one major, major achievement. This round I had a much better appetite. I actually later on felt like the need to eat chocolate, which was a, a, like a good sign. You're so worried about what other people think. You stop standing on your own two feet. You spend time in the rear view mirror. The road ahead won't get any clearer. So close your eyes. Hello. So these are The weather changed from sunny blue skies to mist to rain to sunny blue skies again as we entered False Bay. We had some seals visit and dolphins also came past, which was really exciting. Tell us what happened with your finger. <laughs> he literally. I, I, I might have. Not. I, I dug in my nose. 
and I had something you know, sticky and I, and I flicked it. And I think my hands were tired from sailing and something flying already was injured. But as I flicked it, I just had this warm <laughs> feeling. Thanks for you. So he flicked a piece of snot and tore a leg bent and then. <laughs> in Southern Stone yesterday. It is a pretty sunny but it's going to become super windy. Um, haven't really missed the wind, have to say. But we're ready for it. Um, I put that up so it's darker and we can sleep. That is evidence of a small little injury Chris the had with his finger yesterday. Jay, I'm not laughing because it's funny, I'm laughing. It's a little bit funny because he flicked snot and then he tore his ligament. Oh my word! Oh my goodness, Chris! <laughs> and what are you gonna tell the doctor? I flicked some snot. That, this. Yeah. That I just popped. In but I think it's because you strained your hand with winch, like using the winch handle or something, winching. We're checking and whining. <laughs> so sorry. <gasps> oh, doesn't look that bad on camera actually. So it's our first day back in Simonstown and we slept like logs, not like babies because babies don't sleep. And the boat's a real mess, so we've got to clean up. And I'll walk to the back to show you. Oh, that's some evidence of what I ate of my nest. So it's through here. We open the engine so it can cool down. Um, if we use it, so this is a big mess. There was water in here, and this was my mess. So we put the dinghy, folded up dinghy here, and that acted as a lee class. And then I slept in here. Chris also had a quick nap in here, and it was actually great because it was less movement. Um, and it's very close to the helm right here so for the first two days I was totally man down <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you that but I had all my food <laughs> like uh, around my neck or well, around my head water that's my iPad I couldn't even listen to music I just could not <laughs> so I'd have to clean this up this is disgusting and then there was a little bucket today is cleaning up day we've mentioned before that we really love little tape and this works well look at that Ugh. kept our electronics nice and tight and then we also closed um, these cabinets so that they have extra security that's still some of our food so today is cleaning up, we're going to quickly go for breakfast and then back to work actually for me, my out of office is off this morning. How did you sleep? Mm. I slept. <laughs> I think I have to do. The pen and the linear drive for the autopilot, we're not going to bolt on, we're going to weld it on because it's persistent, they keep on loosening itself. I'm probably going to give it a rinse, a wash, and then I'm going to feel sorry for myself with my hands. I, was, I think I'll start with that. <laughs> because it's sore, look at it. <laughs> It's not closing it. Open and he does it. I'm ship's doctor, and he has like, like no patience for me. I have. I'm. I am the only patient. So I don't know. I can't be a patient. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you can have a love, uh, like a nap, if you wanna have another nap. I'm awake. Okay. Cleaning up the boat. Uh, hello Christy. Hello Michelle. We are back in Summer Sun.
sun and the wind is howling, something we kind of <clears throat> haven't missed much. But it's okay. We're catching up with friends this evening. We went to an event um, of the skipper race, uh, a talk of the clipper, sorry, the clipper hoods at the Yacht Lab. Last night we had a club meeting and a nice dinner with um, other yachty friends from the Yacht Club. And tonight we're on our way to friends in Pichok. So I really wanted to take the train, but we're gonna Uber. And tomorrow we're gonna take the train to Museum Big Baby. But first, we've gotta catch up with our friend, Uta, and Ray, and Angelica. I don't know who else is gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> 